All right, everybody, head to the floor. Head to the floor, take a big inhale, full body stretch when you get there. Open and close your mouth, point and flex your feet. Uh, and when you're ready, come into a little ball, gently rocking side to side. Mm. Start taking some bigger inhales and exhales through your nose, which will just naturally draw your attention inward to the more subtle sensations in your body. And take both legs in the air, bend your knees as much as you need to. Point and flex your feet, roll them around. Bring your hands underneath your head or your arms out to the side, whichever is gonna work better for you tonight. Squeeze those legs together and take them in circles. Massaging that low back, engaging your belly just a little bit. And then go in the other direction. And bring those hands on the inside of your knees and take your legs wide. Point and flex your feet, wiggle your toes. And bend those knees, press your right thigh over your left. Pull those heels towards opposite hips. Again, nice inhale and exhale through your nose, letting your body shift and adjust, especially on the exhale. And switch sides. And inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. And bring those feet flat on the floor as wide as the mat, arms out to the side in a T, palm face up. Take a nice inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Start to take those knees side to side in big, slow windshield wipers. Maybe taking your head in the opposite direction And bring yourself back in the center. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees splay out, arms down by your side. Take a nice inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Trust that the floor is holding you up. You don't need to hold yourself up. Start to draw your attention inward, retune your senses. Peeling through the layers of you that relate to everyone and everything else. Until you come to that space of you relating to you. Right here and now, just as you are. And from that space, bringing up gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here. Gratitude for your physical health, despite aches and pains or frustrations with your body, you are healthy and strong enough today to show up for this class. Press your knees together, scooting your feet out away from each other, letting your hips sink down. Take a big inhale, bringing those hands underneath your head or your arms out to the side, whichever works best for you. Releasing across your chest, feeling that support in your upper back. Gratitude for your mental health. Despite anxiety and stress, despite conflict and distraction, you were able to make the decision to be here and follow through on that decision. And aim your heart out and, or excuse me, extend those arms 
into a huge starfish. Big inhale, reach, and exhale, release. <sighs> Gratitude for any sense of spiritual health. But despite some really hard days, maybe some grief or depression, loneliness or fear, despite all that, there was also enough levity and momentum enough hope and confidence in this practice and this gathered community to pull yourself up off the couch, away from whatever else you were doing or could be doing and show up with all that gratitude and resilience that is strong in you. Send out some hope and love and courage to the people in the places, all of those situations struggling for such health today even if you kind of feel like one of them. Take a big, big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. Pull those heels tight into your butt, arms tight into your side. Draw your shoulders down and take your head side to side. Back in a neutral. Inhale, pressing up into bridge. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, pressing up, exhale, roll it down. One more time and hold it, pressing up. Take those arms out to the side in a T. Soften your neck, your jaw, draw that belly button towards your spine, tailbone towards your knees. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Pull that right knee into your chest. Bring your nose towards your knee. Bring your head back down. And then extend that right leg up in the air. Keep that left foot flat on the floor for right now. Point and flex your foot, roll it around. This is just the first stretch of our hamstring. So we're gonna just make it extra gentle and loving and gracious. So bend that right knee nice and tight again, and then extend that left leg along the floor. And take that knee out and up towards your right armpit, extending that left arm out to the side. Soften across your chest, your neck, your jaw. And pull that knee across your body, extending the right arm out to the side. Back onto the mat, right ankle on top of that left thigh. Reach the arms overhead along the floor. And draw that left thigh in towards your chest, holding on behind the thigh. Nice, easy inhales and exhales here, letting your body shift and adjust. Left foot flat on the floor, right leg crosses over nice and tight. Arms up to the side in a T. Take those cross legs over to the left in a deep twist. Try and release effort in your groin, your waist. Keeping your legs crossed, come back in the center and take those cross legs over to the right. Back in the center, inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. Pull those heels tight into your butt, arms tight into your side. Draw your shoulders down and take your head side to side. And back in a neutral. Inhale, press up in the bridge. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, roll it back down. One more time and hold it, pressing up. Take those arms up to the side in a T, palm face up. Soften your jaw and your chin. Draw that belly button to your spine, tailbone towards your knees. Spread your toes out and push into your feet. 
Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Give yourself a bear hug with the other arm on top and squeeze and the release. Pull that left knee into your chest. Take that left leg up in the air. Keep that right foot flat on the floor. Point and flex your foot. Roll it around. And then bend that knee nice and tight again and extend that right leg along the floor like you're standing on it. Take that left knee out and up towards your left armpit, extending the right arm out to the side. Take some bigger inhales and exhales through your nose while your upper back is totally supported. Pull that knee across your body, extending the left arm out to the side. And back onto the mat, left ankle on that right thigh. Reach the arms overhead along the floor. And then draw that right thigh. Oh my goodness, right thigh in towards your chest. Soften your jaw. Right foot flat on the floor, left leg crosses over nice and tight. Arms up to the side, take your cross legs over to the right in a deep twist. Soften your jaw, maybe adjust that left shoulder if it feels like you're straining. Bring yourself back in the center and take those cross legs over to the left. Back in the center, inhale, full body stretch. Reach it all the way out. Feet flat on the floor as wide as the mat. Arms out to the side in a T. Take a big inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Start to take those knees side to side in big, slow windshield wipers. Maybe taking your head in the opposite direction if that feels right for you. And then roll over to one side, pressing yourself up. Bring yourself up onto hands and knees and start moving through cat cow at your own breath pace. Maybe stretch or maybe curling your toes under to stretch the bottom of your feet or not. But you inhale when you bring your head up and exhale when you round that back. Trust that your breath makes a big difference in this pose. And bring yourself back in the center. On your next inhale, extend that left arm straight ahead. Bring it down, extend that right arm straight ahead. Bring it down, extend that left, or excuse me, well, whichever, left or right leg, straight back. Bring it down and then take the other leg out. And we're gonna do it again. So extend that left arm and right leg. Soften your neck and jaw without dropping your head. Push through your fingers, not just the palm of your hand or not just the heel of your hands. Bring it down. Extend that right arm and left leg. Extend through your fingers, breathing on purpose. Bring it down. Roll yourself up, curl those feet under, bring your hands to your butt or your low back, roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale, heart towards the ceiling. This is camel. Exhale, round your shoulders to the front, head is down. Inhale, open up, heart towards the ceiling, squeeze those shoulder blades. 
exhale, round your shoulders to the front, head is down. One more time and hold it. Heart towards the ceiling. And round your shoulders to the front. Hands come to the floor, walk them forward a little bit and start to make those big hip circles, taking your hips all the way to the side, the front and the back. If this does not work for your knees, you take your hips towards your heels and reach your hands to the other corner of the mat. Go in the other direction. And then curl those feet under, take your knees wide, hips to heels in low dog. Reach those arms long on the inhale and on the exhale, release. And shift your weight forward all the way onto your belly. Elbows tight into your uh, chest. Forearms are down. Scoot those legs back and together. Hands are flat. We're coming to Sphinx Pose. So inhale, push up a little bit in your arms. Bring the belly button away from the floor. Press that pubic bone down and bring your heart forward. I know that's a lot of directions. You're very smart people. And release, make a pillow for your head. Turn your head to one side. Take a big inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Sway your hips a little bit side to side, easing up any tension or trying to ease up tension in your low back. Turn your head the other direction. And again, take a big inhale and exhale out your mouth. Sway your hips a little bit side to side. And hands tight into your chest, move back into low dog. Reach those arms long on the inhale and then bring those hands together into the back of your neck. Soften your jaw, spread those shoulder blades apart. And then press yourself up onto your knees. Take that right leg out in front of you. Inhale, reach those arms up. Shift your weight forward. Aim your heart out and up without straining your neck. This is a big hip flexor stretch. Bring those arms down and shift your weight back. Excuse me, extending that right leg. So this is a big hamstring back of your knee stretch. You might need to bend your knee a little bit. You might need to come up and hold on to a chair next to you or blocks. You might need to lower your expectations to something more realistic. Shift your weight forward, both hands on the inside of that right foot. You're gonna scoot that right foot over a little bit, bring your heart forward here and let your hips come down. Stay just like this or curl that left foot under, pushing the knee off the floor. So the effort's in the legs. Everybody take that right arm up, open your chest to the side, soften your neck and jaw. Hand to the floor, bring that left knee down if it was up. Everybody press yourself up and switch legs. So taking that left leg out in front of you. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Aiming that heart out and up. Soften your neck and jaw. Bring those arms down and shift your weight back. Nice, easy inhales and exhales, trying to soften that upper back, your shoulders.
and shift your weight forward again. Both hands on the inside of that left foot. Heart forward, hips down. You're pressing strong into your legs. And stay just like this or curl that right foot under, pushing the knee off the floor. Everybody take that left arm up. Soften your neck and jaw. Bring that hand down, bring that right knee down if it was up. And everybody press yourself up into standing. I'm gonna adjust the screen so you can see me just a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna do three rounds of cleansing breath here. So roll your shoulders back and down. Inhale, hands towards you. Exhale, push it out. Inhale up. Exhale around. Again, inhale towards you. Exhale, push it out. Inhale up. Exhale around. One more time with pauses. Inhale towards you. Two, three. Exhale, push it out. Two, three. Inhale, reach it up. Two, three. All the way around. Widen your stance. Turn your feet out. We're doing five. Let's just do three. Let's do three goddess or wide leg squats here. So inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows, bend your knees. That's one. Inhale, stand up. And bend your elbow, bend your knees. That's two. Stand up. One more time and hold it. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Two, three, four, five. Turn to the right. Back in the center and turn to the left. Back in a center and tip to one side. Back in a center and tip to the other side. Back in a center. Inhale, stand up. Bring those arms down. Heel toe your feet together. Shake your hands and your feet out and grab your chair. So standing close to the back of your chair, here we go. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Step that right leg back and bend the left knee. Heart forward. Step back in a down dog. Pull those hips back. Release your head and neck. You might bend your knees a little bit. Look ahead, step that right leg into the chair and bend the knee. Heart forward, shoulders down. Step into the chair. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Step that left leg back and bend the right knee. Heart forward, hips down. Ground to your legs and take the right arm up. Maybe take the other arm up. Hands to the chair, step back in a down dog. Pull those hips back. Look ahead, step that left leg into the chair and bend the knee. Take that left arm up. Ground to your legs and take the other arm up. Hands to the chair and step into it. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Step that right leg back into warrior two. Extend the arms out, bend that front knee, scoot that right leg further back. You're gazing over your left fingers. Left hand to the chair, reach that right arm up and over. Right hand to right leg, reach the left arm up. Hands to the chair, pivot your back foot. Bring your heart forward. Three step ups here. Here we go. Step up one, bring it back down. Step up two, bring it back down. One more time and hold it. Step up two, three, four, five. Bring that leg down to standing. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Step that left leg back and turn it out, coming into warrior two. Extend the arms out, bend that front knee. Soften your neck and jaw. Right hand to the chair, left arm reaches up and over. Left hand to the chair, reach that right arm up. Both hands to the chair, pivot your back foot. Bring your heart forward. Three step ups here. Here we go. Step up one, bring it back down. Step up two, bring it back down. One more time and hold it. Step up, two, three, four, five. Bring that leg down. Step away from the chair, empty coat sleeves right here. And turn the chair around so that you're facing the seat. I need to get a drink of water quick. <clears throat> All right, your feet are wide, your feet are straight ahead. Hands to your hips, bend your knees, stick your butt out. Hands to the chair, then straighten your legs. Everybody wobble your knees a little bit and then flex those legs. So your legs are engaged, but your knees are not locked. Three push-ups here. Here we go. Bend your elbows straight back. Push up. Bend your elbows straight back. Push up. One more time. Bend your elbows straight back. Push up. Right hand to right hip. Open your chest to the side. Push strong into your legs. Squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other, even if it's just in your mind. Right hand to the chair, bend your elbows straight back. Push up. Left hand to left hip, open up to the side. Hand to the chair, bend your elbows straight back. Push up. Reach that right arm up, fingertips towards the ceiling. Hand to the chair, bend your elbows straight back, push up. Reach that left arm up. Hand to the chair, bend your elbows straight back, push up. Bring those legs together at the chair. Step that right leg back into a deep lunge. Your that left knee is in the chair, more or less. Then take your hands off the chair so that all the effort's in your legs. You're gonna keep the effort in your legs, but bring your hands to the chair for stability. Take a nice inhale here. Exhale, straighten that left leg. You're pushing strong through both legs. Again, your legs are holding you up. Your arms are just for stability. Bend that left knee, look ahead. Left hand to your left hip, open up to the left. Hand to the chair, step the feet wide. Hold onto the back edge of that chair and pull your hips back. Release your head and neck. And look ahead, step that right leg into the chair, bend, or step the left leg back. Look ahead, take your hands off the chair. All the effort is in your legs. Hands to the chair, take a big inhale. Exhale, straighten that right leg, pushing strong through both legs. Bend the right knee, right hand to right hip and open your chest to the side. Your legs are holding you up. Hands to the chair, step your feet wide. Hold onto the back edge of that chair and pull your hips back. Oh, this feels so good. Look ahead and walk towards the chair, but leave about a foot away from the chair. So you're in a really high tabletop. Again, don't lock your knees. We're doing knee to nose and send it back. It looks like this. You bring your knee to your nose and send it back. We'll do that five times on each side. Here we go. Knee to nose, send it back. 
Knee to nose, send it back. Knee to nose, send it back. That's three. Knee to nose, send it back. Knee to nose, send it back. Bring that leg down. Other side. Knee to nose, send it back. Knee to nose, send it back. Knee to nose, send it back. I think that's three. Knee to nose, send it back. Knee to nose, send it back. Bring that leg down. Bend your knees, round your back, roll yourself up. Inhale, reach those arms up and reach higher. Take your heart towards the ceiling. Gentle back bend. And then give yourself a bear hug and twist. Give yourself a bear hug with the other arm on top and twist. And then turn the chair to the side and we'll do some balancing work. And I need to get another drink of water. <clears throat> so left foot on the seat. Five calf raises here. <sighs> here we go. Inhale, press up and down, press up and down, up, that's three, and down, up, and down, up, and down, that's five. Inhale, reach the arms up and reach higher, pushing strong into that right leg. Bend the elbow, squeeze your shoulder blades. Turn to the left, back into center. Turn to the right, back into center. Inhale, reach those arms up, push strong into the right leg, lift the left and bring it down. Shake your hands and feet. Turn that chair the other way or don't but switch your legs so the right foot is on the seat. And here we go, five calf raises. Press up and down, up and down, up, that's three, and down, up and down. One more, up and down. Inhale, reach those arms up and reach higher. Bend the elbows, open your chest. All the effort is in the left leg. Turn to the right. Back in a center and turn to the left. Back in a center, inhale, reach those arms up, push strong into the left leg, lift the right and bring it down. Shake your hands and your feet out. And go get another chair. So, oh no, don't go get another chair. I forgot where I am. No, don't get another chair. We don't have time for that. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so sit on your chair though, sit on your one chair, scoot yourself back, roll those shoulders back and down, stretch your face, your mouth. Oh, take a nice inhale here. Exhale, let your head sink down and further so. Roll that right ear over your right shoulder, sit up nice and tall, extend that left arm down. Release your jaw. Let your head sink down, return your hands. Roll that left ear over your left shoulder, sit up nice and tall, extend that right arm down. Let your head sink down, return your hands. Reach your chin towards the ceiling, stretching the front of your neck. Bring your heart towards the ceiling a little bit more for a gentle back bend. And back in a neutral, looking over your right shoulder and over your left. And back in a center, scoot yourself up in your chair a bit. Inhale, reach those arms up and reach higher. 
hands to the side of your chair, squeeze those shoulder blades, aim your heart out and up, then round your shoulders to the front, head is down. Inhale, open up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Exhale, round your shoulders to the front, head is down. Inhale, open up, reach the right arm up and cross it over, sit up nice and tall and twist. Drawing your shoulders down, look back, look straight ahead and bring yourself back in a center. Inhale, reach both arms up and reach higher. Hands to the side of your chair, squeeze those shoulder blades. Take the left arm up and cross it over. Sit up nice and tall and twist, draw your shoulders down. Look back, look straight ahead and bring yourself back in the center. Inhale, reach your arms up and reach higher. Right arm down at your side and then reach towards the floor. Bring that arm back up. Take the left arm down at your side and reach towards the floor. Bring that arm up, bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades. Bring your left elbow in your right. Round your back, elbows in the belly button. Bring yourself back up. Take those elbows wide, squeeze your shoulder blades. Right elbow in left. Round your back, elbows in the belly button. Bring yourself back up. Bring those arms down, round those shoulders back and down. Pull that right knee into your chest, roll that foot around. Stretch your face a little bit. Right ankle on top of that left thigh. Flex that right foot, sit up and bring your heart towards that shin. Bring yourself back up. I can't remember what happens next. Inhale, reach those arms up. Bring those arms straight ahead. Reach out and up. And then pull those arms down, round your back and drop your head. Roll yourself up, bring that leg down, pull that left knee tight into your chest, roll that foot around. Take that ankle across, sitting up nice and tall, flex your foot. Bring your heart towards your shin. Then bring yourself back up. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring those arms straight ahead, reach out and up, pull the arms down, round your back and drop your head, roll yourself up, bring both feet flat on the floor, take them wide, hands to the side of your chair, big windshield wipers right here. So dipping a knee down in the center, turning those hips. And then take those feet wide, bring your elbows to your knees and push those legs out further. You're drawing your shoulders back and bringing your heart forward. Soften your neck and jaw. While you're doing this, dip a shoulder down in the center and then the other one side to side. Keep breathing on purpose. Bring yourself all the way down in the middle. Release your head and neck to gravity. Pushing through your legs, roll yourself up. Bring those hands behind you, sit up nice and tall. Scoot to the edge of your seat. Dip a knee down in the center again, side to side. Bring both feet flat on the floor in front of you. Extend that right leg straight out and flex your foot. Sit up, heart to big toe and big toe to big heart. Bring yourself back up and switch legs. So extend that left leg out and flex the foot. Sit up, heart to big toe. And bring yourself back up. 
Take a nice inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Head down to the floor. So when you get down to the floor, maybe come into a little ball and then do a full body stretch or do it in the other order, whatever your body feels like it needs tonight. And if there's another pose that I haven't said that you feel like you need it tonight, then by all means, don't let me be the boss of you. I do suggest a big inhale, full body stretch and coming into a little ball, both of those. And let's all meet feet flat on the floor as wide as the mat. Arms up to the side in a T. Take a big inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Take those knees side to side. And whatever side they fall towards, let them be. Release all effort like gravity. Hold on to them and turn your head in the other direction. And again, release all effort in your neck. Soften your jaw. And bring yourself back in the center. Let those legs fall on the other side. Release effort in your waist, your groin, your hips. Turn your head in the opposite direction and try and release effort in your neck. Bring yourself back in the center. Tuck those heels tighter in towards your butt. Arms tight in towards your side. Draw your shoulders down and take your head side to side. And back into neutral. Inhale, press up into bridge. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, roll it back down. One more time and hold it, pressing up. Take those arms up to the side in a T. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Give yourself a bear hug with the other arm on top. Squeeze and release. Arms down at your side, bring the soles of your feet together. Knees splay out. Take a nice inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Trust that it all worked. You did a great job. Trust that whenever you got distracted and brought yourself back to this time and space, your practice deepens, regardless of the pose you are in. Press your knees together, scooting your feet out away from each other, letting your hips sink down. The meditation mantra of the month is stira and sukha. Stira is the effort and the stability. Sukha is the ease and the softness. This is our quote for the week. Above all, trust in the slow work of God. We are quite naturally impatient in everything to reach the end without delay. We should like to skip the intermediate stages. We are impatient of being on the way to something unknown, something new. And yet it is the law of all progress that it is made by passing through some stages of instability and that it may take a long time. If this feels like the right posture for your final resting pose, then stay just like this. Otherwise, extend those legs out as long and as wide as the mat, letting your feet splay open. Trust that the floor is holding you up. 
you don't need to hold yourself up. Soften the bottom of your feet, release your toes. Let some warmth and weight rest heavy on top of your feet, releasing effort in your ankles, letting your heels sink. Letting that weight of gravity rest on your shin bones, your thighs. Feeling the total support of the floor underneath you. Let your hips sink down. Letting the full length of your body settle into the floor. Like you're settling in to warm, fine sand. And it's shaping and shifting itself around you. Totally supporting you. So you can soften your lower back, release your belly. Letting that ease and softness rise up your spine. Releasing all those muscles that support your back body. Letting your rib cage rest, your shoulders sink. Letting that weight of gravity come across your chest and across your arms like the weight of a heavy quilt, tucking you in, helping you rest right here and now, just as you are. Releasing all effort in your arms, your hands, letting your fingers curl up and float. Practice letting go here. Practice letting go of the conversations and the misunderstandings, the decisions and the unanswered questions. Right here and now, practice loosening your grip on all that is beyond your control. Letting go of the work that is not yours to do so that you can be about the work that is yours to do. Softening the muscles of your neck that reach across your back and your chest, feeling the total support of the floor underneath your head. So you can soften your jaw and your chin. Release your lips and your cheeks, your eyebrows and your forehead. Soften even the very crown of your head. Trusting that all of this new and renewed energy and strength, all of this effort and rest is inside of you as it has always been. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers, letting your body know that you're gonna move. Taking a big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out, open and close your mouth, point and flex your feet. And when you're ready, bending those knees, bringing your feet back flat on the floor, hands return to you. <coughs> Reconnecting with that gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here in the midst of everything. Gratitude for the day that has been and the rest of the evening that will be. Rolling over to one side and pressing yourself up, noticing how things might have shifted and changed during the practice. 
remembering that there is always more happening than we could ever know or perceive, trusting that there will be shifts to come. I thank you for sharing your practice with us. Know that it makes such a difference that you are here. Namaste. Thanks for coming, everybody. Night-night. Thanks. Good night. Good night.